What does it really take to lose 30 pounds? A strong determination, a clean diet, a rigid workout routine, or perhaps a series of failed attempts that drags you down to the rock bottom again. It's really not that hard to lose weight. Anyone who really wants to do it can achieve this in various ways. Maybe just not the healthiest or most sustainable way. For me, I successfully lost a substantial amount of weight multiple times. But only in 2019 did I finally make the results stay instead of bouncing back to another peak in my weight. How did I do it? Well. It's a combination of changes I made in my lifestyle, habits, perspectives. But in order for the whole story to unfold, we have to start with purpose. Anyone on a weight loss journey has their own reason. Some want to be healthy again. Some do it to boost their self-image and confidence. Some do it because of social pressure. Whatever your weight loss goal might be, if your sole purpose is to lose weight, you'd be lost like me on this journey. Purpose, something set up as an object or end to be attained. It is the intention, resolution, and determination of your weight loss. Without the right purpose to your weight loss journey, it's kind of like trying to drive off an electric car with gasoline. It won't get you anywhere. For me, my purpose has been quite shallow for the longest time. Being a skinny kid all my life until gaining more than 15 pounds during my freshman year at UCLA. My drive for going on a diet came straight from self-repulsion. I hated the way I looked so puffy, the way my jeans were so tight that it hurt to breathe, the way that no one compliments me anymore about how slim I look. My sole purpose for the weight loss journey was to lose weight. Before rolling your eyes at me and say, duh, what else would it be? Let me tell you what I learned from trying to lose weight for the purpose of losing weight. When the end goal was to lose weight, I overlooked the methods of achieving this and the consequences of some concerning methods such as starving myself. This of course didn't get me very far down the road. I lost a ton of weight drastically, but soon after I thought I reached my goal of losing that weight, I immediately gained it back because my lifestyle was unchanged and my body was not well. Something I realized through this journey is that weight loss is only the byproduct of adopting a healthy lifestyle. When the goal or purpose is not to lose weight but to be healthy, when that's set, everything else comes along. When I only focus on the byproduct of becoming skinny and not the core of becoming healthy, even when I became skinny, it was only temporary because my body was not healthy enough to sustain it. After making these conclusions about my failed weight losses, I finally made up my mind to not lose weight, but do something more, living healthier. When the goal shifted from weight loss to living healthier, a lot of weight loss obstacles just fell out of my sight. When it came to exercising, I used to only view it as a mundane task to burn more calories. I obsessed over the number of calories I could burn each time I go on a treadmill or elliptical. To be honest, it was tiring. And another honest truth, I hated running on treadmills. It was boring and painful for me, but I always forced myself to do it because running was apparently one of the most effective ways to burn calories to lose weight. But when my purpose became to living healthier, I no longer stressed about the number of calories that an exercise burns and more so focused on doing the workouts that are fun for me and are therefore easy to keep doing as a habit. I started picking up resistance training to build lean muscles, swimming as my preferred cardio as well as taking walks. And of course, trying out different abs, workouts. When there wasn't as much pressure to burn so many calories but just to have fun and be healthy, working out has become easier day by day. Eventually, these activities that I picked up and decided I liked sticked with me and became habits, then a natural and painless lifestyle. Another big change that happened since I reset my purpose was that I finally stopped caring so much about my weight. 
I was obscenely obsessed with my weight to the point that I used to weigh myself multiple times during the day. This was a complete waste of my time and added unnecessary stress for two reasons. First, my weight does not paint the whole picture. For example, the same 60 kilograms could look drastically different on the same person due to a change in body fat percentage and muscle mass. When I stopped caring about my weight and just focused on gaining more lean muscles, the nice thing about gaining lean muscles was that I was burning fat at the same time. So when I weighed myself once in a blue moon, I noticed that my weight began dropping a bunch without me intentionally trying to lower it. And I honestly didn't even need to weigh myself to know that my weight loss or fitness journey is on track because my clothes were getting more loose as a result of focusing on becoming stronger and gaining more muscle mass, which is quite counterintuitive. The second reason to ditch the scale is that your weight is determined by so, so many things like your water intake, how much you ate the night before, etc. Your weight before and after your meal could differ by over one kilogram. Does that mean you instantaneously lost progress? Of course not. This has discouraged me so much in the past and more dangerously made me scared to eat. Which brings me to the next change I made changing my relationship with food when the main purpose of your journey is to lose weight it's hard to not be scared of eating as someone who has gone through both extremes of binge eating and starving i need to stress about the importance of having a healthy relationship with food i had to change my views of food as both a blame for my weight gain and the comfort i seek having gone through the two ends of the spectrum i can attest that neither end is healthy nor sustainable. Taking food as a source of comfort and binge eating was a great feeling at first, but when my body sends me the signal that it is too full and I just keep eating because my mind thinks that's what I wanted, I have the huge discomfort of being overly full afterwards, plus the feeling of guilt and self-blame. And taking food as the whole blame for my weight gain made me scared to eat. Being overly obsessed with calories counting skewed my attention away from nutrition and harmed my body again. Trying to build a good relationship with food isn't the easiest. But when I reshifted my focus from weight loss to just living healthier, now I try to see food as an essential fuel for my body to stay healthy and nourished. I try to listen to my body's needs and listen for the signals that tell me when I'm hungry versus when I'm just craving because of boredom. And because my goal became to live healthier, I was more willing to learn about what I was putting in my body, aka nutrition. So I took a nutrition class in college and learned about macronutrients, vitamins, the different consequences to overlooking nutrition such as obesity, cardiovascular diseases, and so on. It was really fascinating to learn about some of my misconceptions of food and it was definitely an enriching process to educate myself early of the consequences of having unhealthy diets and lifestyles, which further reinforced my determination to make my purpose of living healthier into a lifestyle. Instead of blindly counting calories like when I obsess only about losing weight, I began caring more about the ingredients, macronutrients, additives, and the sourcing of their ingredients. Eating very little calories used to be a boring and not exciting process that made me crave a lot of junk food later. But when I determined to live healthier, I discovered the abundance of nutrients in different whole foods that could be made tasty without all the preservatives and without the unnecessary high calories. The more I ate whole unprocessed foods, the more I realized that the quality of nutrients can be tasted, but more importantly, be converted into positive energy in my body. Eating healthy no longer feels like a chore or a temporary punishment to lose several pounds, but it became my preference because I just loved how much more energized and good my body felt. The quality of the food I ate really reflected on my whole body. A loss of body fat was only one of the indicators. I also significantly reduced my acne and felt less tired during the day. By changing my goal from losing weight to living healthier, I was able to shift my perspectives on exercising, my weight, food and nutrition, thereby adopting a series of good habits. It's weird when you chase so hard after you're losing weight, it will come back and bite you in weight rebounds. But when you set your goal around changing your entire lifestyle, the weight loss 
naturally falls into place. So that's my journey of losing 30 pounds. The number is just a number, but the new lifestyle I adopted is a true gift from this journey that I will cherish. If you're interested in seeing more of the details of my weight loss and glow up journey, like and subscribe to follow my glow up journal series where I'm documenting the whole process in vlogs and storytelling styles. Hope you have an amazing day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you next week. Bye. This is the end.